side note, we got rain in Muskoka. And things are not looking good here at all. Truck is loaded. Got my suit, got my boots, got my helmet, got my link luggage, got my ramps, no sled. Yeah, raining quite a bit. And it's showing 295 miles. I think the actual drive is about five hours, but we are gonna be driving through some nasty weather once we get up north. Right now, as you can see, it's just solid rain and 37 Fahrenheit leaving Huntsville right now. Still raining. And there you see it. Ski Doo Dealer. That's Giesler. Giesler Marine. Putting a whole new showroom in there. Okay, just got the Mach Z all loaded. Okay, here in uh, North Bay, it's still raining. Really hardly any snow in North Bay. So I could see why the trails are pretty much probably done here. Yeah, okay, here we go. Timmins, Cochran. This is where you turn right, leaving North Bay. Sudbury's that way. So we are north of uh, Tamagami now. I think we just passed Tamagami, and all of a sudden things are turning really white. Here it's pretty much becoming a whiteout. So things are slowing way down. See, we're down to like 80K. I also checked the 511 app and uh, what's going on is they closed the highway. Highway 11 is closed at Matheson. Basically from Matheson onward, all the way to Longlac is officially closed right now because the snow is coming down too heavy. And it's not an accident, it's because of snow. Highway was closed at Matheson, I got off at Matheson and I'm gonna do a little side road action. Okay, I got a workaround here. There it is. I'm determined to get to Timmins to get down the motel. Wow, this is getting crazy. So this road is completely unplowed. There's like a foot of snow on it. And there's only one set of tracks has gone down here so far. Um, this does not look so great. This looks like a damn snowmobile trail, but it is a road. And because they closed the highway, I'm trying to make this a way to get around. Wow. This is craziness. Let me just... Stop for a lucky I got four-wheel drive going here. Let me just zoom this out. This is what we want. Let's zoom that out a little bit. You see that's Highway 11. 101 goes to the left and Highway 11 goes on the angle there. So that's the one that's closed. 101 should be open. So um, of course the GPS doesn't know what's closed, what's open, but I'm just staying right in their tracks. Crap, what an adventure here. I don't want to get stuck back in here. Man, oh man. Pretty steep hill up there. Alright, I'm going to put the phone down. Cool. Okay, I made it. 101 Timmins. This was Fisher Road. 
and you can see this this is highway 11 here and it's closed there's nobody on it so i kind of got around it and this is where i'm at so i'm going to go that way straight down and hang a right to timmins About midnight. Looks like the snow is winding down a little bit, but uh, see, got about four or five inches there since I got here on the parking lot there. So it's probably definitely over a foot of fresh snow here, maybe maybe more than a foot for sure in Timmins. Looks like it's winding down though, but uh, it's supposed to snow all day tomorrow too. Okay, we're here at the Super 8. Got the uh, sled here, we're gonna just unload right here. Gorgeous morning, luggage all set up. Dano's got a fuel caddy, he's got a 129, so he's got less spaces. He's got the tail bag, so. But we shouldn't need fuel at all for this, to be honest with you, because we're going to go Iroquois Falls, and then Cochran, and then Cap. Okay, here. We're in Timmins. We're heading south. We're going right over. The trail goes right over the main drag here. Kind of see it right here and here. And the trail comes right through here. And then we're going to loop around through here, and then we're going to go to Iroquois Falls after. Just left Timmins. And, uh... So pretty. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, let's take a picture of that. Look at that nice gauge. That's awesome. I love that gauge. That's pretty cool setup, dude. All right. So we're on our way to Iroquois Falls. We'll gas up there and then up to Cochrane. Okay, so we're coming from Timmins, 69K, and that's the A111C going that way. And uh, basically, we're almost breaking trail the whole way. And now this is A, that's A North, and that's A South. So that goes to Matheson, and that goes up to Iroquois Falls, and that's where we're going. We're going to get gas up there. So there's the, the signage on the corner, and you can kind of see, like, this is what we're riding in. Basically, just one or two tracks is what we're riding in. And uh, here's a pretty good map here. Shows exactly what's going on. So there we are right at the corner, and we're gonna go up A to Iroquois Falls. And then after that, we'll go up to Cochrane, which is off this map. And that is this way here. You can basically see no 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 groomers touch this at all since all the snow. And uh, man, what a great day! Just beautiful. Okay, first gas stop, 62 miles on the odometer. And I put in 62, 26.3 meters. First gas stop, Airpoint Fall. Okay, we're here at Iroquois Falls, and it's the Petro Can, and we just filled up. And I used almost uh, seven eighths or probably three quarters of a tank of gas just to go like 62 miles because the snow is so deep. It's really funny. Yeah, 62 miles, and I was pretty much empty. So we we're both gas up, so we feel a lot better now. I'm gonna jump back on the A Trail and keep heading over. Well, we're coming in now, we're right at uh, Highway 11 on the A Trail, and that's the highway over there. They just reopened it, and here's the trail, basically all hydroline, and we're breaking, uh, we're breaking trail here. It's really deep. Just crazy. It's starting to snow again too.
Okay, well, uh, good news is we finally came, a, came upon a groomer. Uh, we're getting almost into Cochrane here, and uh, so we're on some nice, uh, a little bit more easier going for the uh, the engine there. Boy, used a lot of gas. 91 miles in, uh, in uh, brake and trail, basically. <laughs> so this looks like uh, A trail goes to the left here. And welcome to Cochrane, my first time here. This is pretty cool. That wasn't too bad. It was a little bit of a, uh, I don't think that was groomed recently underneath uh, down in Iroquois Falls to here because there were some bumps underneath the, the fluff. So here's Cochrane. Here's where we're coming into now. And we're going to continue on this way. Here's our signage here. Pedal there, gas. We're going to continue on that way there. That's the way we came there. All right, we're officially coming into Cochrane. There's the cool sign there. And we're going to probably grab some food pretty soon here. Okay, so this is right where the A Trail crosses Highway 11 when you first get to Cochrane. And you can see all the trucks. So we think the highway is still closed. This is the Thrift Lodge. A lot of snowmobilers stay here. And look at the snow on the roof. Look at the drift. And uh, so I just wanted to say that it's exactly 99 miles. You can see it. 99 miles from Timmins to here in, in like all breaking trail, basically. So we're going to go into this place. Uh, Look at, they got burrito of the day. So this looks like it might be good. Quesadilla, burritos, tacos, two for one pizza. Okay, we just had some really good pizza in Cochrane here. And now we're heading on A, going toward Capus Casing. Came from that way, and we're heading that way. This is just awesome. Cochran, the sun just came out, so I wanted to get some pictures here. Not even groomed yet, but look at this trail. Just flogging it down here, like, you know, 80, 75, 80 mile an hour. It's just awesome. Okay, here we are for Smooth Rock Falls. And we're grabbing gas here. Right here. And Highway 11 just opened. We were passing the trucks the whole way. Yeah, actually, you can see Smooth Rock right over there in the distance. That's where we're at. Okay, here we are. That's Highway 11 right there. And uh, that's going west. That's going back to the east. You can see all the highways open now because all the trucks are going by. So the trail, this A trail, it kind of comes down here and uh, comes onto this river here. And uh, man, just started snowing again, heavy. So uh, anyways, just wanted to get a picture of this bridge, Highway 11. And we just filled up in uh, Smooth Rock. So we're heading west, heading for Cap. Okay, here we are, we're coming across Trail A. And this is uh, Moonbeam uh, Snowmobile Club. I guess it's their clubhouse. I guess it's not open, eh, Dano? Okay. So we're gonna continue on to, uh, we're still going to cap. And uh, I think I need some suspension adjustments. <laughs> we won't talk about that now on the video, though. No. <laughs> Bit of a low rider there. I'm feeling in my back, too. As you can see, it's snowing like a bugger again, and here we are. We're on L137, and we're just going to cross Highway 11 here, uh, go south of Highway 11, and this is uh, Moonbeam, and you can see it on my...
cross over Highway 11 right here, and then we're gonna go down there. Okay. All right, here we are. We're coming into Capus Casing, and we're on the L. L123. Right there. Ah. Yeah. So here we are, right there. And uh, so we're at a dealership here. Pretty, pretty new, new er, not super new, right? Now, a couple years. So we're just underneath Highway 11, it looks like, and pretty much Kappa's casing. And here it is, Rex, Rex Finn, big dealer. Of course, they're closed because it's Saturday and it's about four o'clock. Saturdays they close early at one o'clock. One o'clock, Dano. Saturday. Uh, one o'clock. Guess you can't really see inside, eh? Okay, we just came into Cap, and it's cold out. 4:15, March 18th. You can actually see it right on there. Highway 11. And our motel's right up here. This is the Apollo in Kapiskasing. Got two beds. We got the door, which is awesome, so I'll, I'll go grab my sled and I'll park it right out here. Yeah, we gotta go get our sleds and we'll park them right here. This is fantastic. And look at, there's a restaurant right there. Chuck's. This is awesome. And there's actually heat in here. Man, that place last night was terrible. All right, bringing my luggage in. So this is a great motel because you got the door and you got an inner door too. So they give you a key for this door and um, See, we got our sleds right here. And I'm gonna just start taking my luggage in. Man, there's a lot of snow. Everything's frozen down in there. How much ice is in there? And it still hasn't stopped snowing up here. It's just crazy. Put those down there so they melt on the It's frozen. Ready, ice chunks. GPS, uh, this, this got water in it when it was raining back you know, to the south and the connection's now kind of screwed up so my GPS kind of died. 